What's up, world? I'm Tim Kane. I'm Steve. And we got a lot of news, so let's get going. Gray hair in younger adults? I think so. A study concluded by me shows that this is, in fact, true. Look at me, I've had it for 10 years, and that's wiggity wiggity whack. Studies have shown that this is not true, and I'm just upset that I can't control my hair, and I look like I look like an old man by the time I'm 30. This is no joke, and this will happen to your kids. If it happens to me, it can happen to anyone. So make sure to buy your anti-gray hair shampoo that can only be bought from your local CVS store. In world news, North Korea is attempting to take over the world. They have recently mobilized nuclear warheads throughout the country. They've already taken over South Korea and are moving troops into China and other parts of Asia. This poses as a huge threat to the United States and other global powers. We may be on the brink of World War III, so we do advise for everyone to stay inside their homes as an attack on U.S. soil may be close. We will have further updates on this story as it develops. Let's go to Sam to find out what law students would make if they were dictators of the world. Thanks, Stephen. I'm Sam, and the hallways of Spring Forward High School asking people the question, if you were the ruler of the world, what laws would you make? Um, no wearing denim on denim. <laughs> Starbucks is free. <laughs> I would immediately fire myself and institute libertarian law and let everybody live as they wanted to live and as long as they were not infringing upon my rights or I was not infringing upon theirs, be all good. I would, the laws that I would legalize would be, um, let's see, uh, for everyone to have a gun, basically. I mean, it would be dangerous, but I, I don't, I want to have a gun too, so. And, uh, to drive at a younger age, I think, because, I don't know why, because it would just be easier that way. And we'd have a lot of accidents, but I don't care. Right. Uh, I, would admit, I would legalize Dan Baker. <laughs> um, women would have no rights. <laughs> so my first law would be that on Friday, Rebecca Black had to sing Friday live, and everybody would watch her and cheer her. She's a nice person. The second law would be that Starbucks would be totally eliminated because we don't like you know, common white girls. And then my third one would be the fourth Thursday of every month, everybody had to watch Human Centipede 1 and 2. <laughs> Everyone would have to speak Hindu. No one can wear denim on denim. And on Wednesdays, you don't wear pink. If I was the ruler of the world, one law I would make is that no one could fight because violence isn't good. You heard it here first, Spring Ford. Now back to the desk. Sam Clay, out. Thank you, Sam. In recent news, Goosebumps has been declared as classic literature. Various polls in North America and various European countries have shown that many young children, middle-aged adults, want Goosebumps to be defined as classic literature. I remember reading these to my children when they were younger, and all of us weren't able to sleep afterwards, says lead supporter Doc Brown. Uh, that's it for the news today, world. I'm Tim Kane. I'm Steve. And uh, we'll see you tomorrow.